Hi friends, my name is Tess and today we are talking about getting out into nature. The outdoors can be a great friend to us. I'll show you some fun activities using things you find outdoors and we'll talk about why nature is good for our bodies and our minds. There's really nothing like the clean, outside, quiet air. We've all been stuck inside a lot this year, but remember that it's healthy for our bodies and our minds to spend some time in nature when we can. While you're spending some time outside, here are some fun things you can do. Try bringing a scavenger hunt on your next outdoor adventure. You could make your own, or there are many other printable ones you can find online. I'll link some in the description box for you to take a look at. Scavenger hunts can be a fun way to extend your time outdoors, and you can use them in your neighborhood or pretty much anywhere outside. They also help you be more aware of your surroundings and more appreciative of all the cool things we can see outdoors. It helps us think about how important nature is. And while we are outside, we are getting exercise that's good for our bodies too. If you can't get out on a hike, there are still outdoor activities you can make right in your own backyard. For this activity, we are making a sundial, which is an instrument that can tell us the time of day, depending on where the sunlight is. All we need to make our own sundial is a paper plate, some tape, and some kind of stick or pencil. Next, we need to stick our pencil right through the middle of the paper plate and tape the bottom to keep it in place. My sundial has a shadow from the pen, but it will move as time goes by. Did you know that the sun moves throughout the day? And when that happens, it moves the shadows around. Using your sundial, you can track how fast the sun is moving throughout the day using different markers. If you want to take the nature fun home with you, Try going on a walk around your neighborhood or a nearby trail to collect fallen leaves. Especially during the fall, there should be lots of leaves and sticks on the ground to choose from. I brought a bag so I could take all my treasures home. I also brought my mask because this hiking trail is used by a lot of people and I want to keep everyone safe. Try finding lots of different kinds of leaves with different shapes, sizes, and colors if you can. This will really help our activities at home. When you get your leaves and sticks home, there are a few fun things you can do with them. First, we are going to make leaf prints with some crayons and light colored paper. You'll need to take the paper off first. Then, put a leaf under the paper and rub the crayon over the paper where the leaf is. Make sure to use the long side of the crayon to rub, not the pointy end. This will work with fresh or dry leaves. After a few rubs, you should start to see the shape of the leaf coming out. If it doesn't work, pick another leaf and try again. I love this because the crayons can really pick up all the parts of the leaf, the blades and the veins. See if your leaf rubbings will show all the parts of the leaf as well. Another activity you can do with leaves is making leaf art using glue and paper. All I'm doing is fitting the leaves together to make pretty designs and then gluing them down using a glue stick. But any kind of glue will do the trick. You can break or cut the leaves into pieces to shape them for your needs as well. Remember when my sister and I were young, we made leaf art as presents for our grandparents. These are so cute and there's a lot of variation. You can turn the leaves into anything you'd like as long as you use your imagination and enough leaves. Remember when you're outside to try and take some time to enjoy the fresh air and quiet sounds of nature. Wherever you live, there are outside places you can go whether it's a local park, a hiking trail, or somewhere farther away. It's important for us to spend some time outdoors appreciating all the things nature has given us. Thanks so much for stopping by today, friends. 
and be sure to share this video with others who may find it helpful. See you next time!